Geez, well, my first job, believe it or not, was a cement watcher, <laughs> which is laughable, but uh, it really was my job for the first couple months that I worked there. They were doing a bunch of work in downtown locations, and there was a risk of, of course, people messing up their nicely, freshly laid sidewalks. So literally, I would go there after high school and you know hang out and uh, wait till the concrete was dry enough where people couldn't wreck it anymore. And I would study and you know do some assignments while I was sitting there. But um, uh, then after that, I you know for the rest of the summer, I was actually in there helping them with the actual work. But uh, from there, you know, I just there, I had some other construction jobs. Um, I think maybe one of them that probably influenced me away from oil and gas was actually a job where we were replacing the seals on the, those huge oil tanks that you see out there. The roof on them, some of them, the roof floats on top of the oil and there's a seal around it. And I spent one summer working on replacing those seals and that was a horrible job, um, which like I say, probably influenced me away from that, from that industry. Like many people in high school met with guidance counselors, you take aptitude tests, you, you know, you, you try and figure out where your passions lie. And, you know, I certainly went through that. And uh, as I went through that, uh, you know, one of the thoughts that the guidance counselor had for me was uh, that I could be interested in architecture. And I was, and I, you know, I, I would do sketches, I would do sketch buildings and layouts of floor plans and things like that. And I enjoyed that. Um, the challenge for me as a high school student and, and just where I grew up in Edmonton, Alberta, is that in Canada, you know, at least when I was uh, growing up, it wasn't a common thing to travel a long ways to go to university, you tend to go to the closest place, right? So for me, that was the University of Alberta. And the University of Alberta did not have an architecture program. Uh, you know, we didn't have a lot of money. And so, you know, really needed to find something local. So <laughs> that's where I started to think more seriously about engineering as the next best option. I think for me, you know, just thinking back on how I ended up where I was, part of it was just wanting to try new things and the desire to always challenge myself. Uh, that led me to move from Canada to the U.S. and uh, land in San Francisco uh, at an engineering firm. You know, it's definitely a, a big move for me. Um, lived at home all through my life, one house uh, all the way through university and then land in San Francisco. That's a pretty, pretty big change. The thing that was very fortunate for me uh, was, frankly, finding a handful of great mentors. And um, the, the mentors that I found um, were great engineers, but they were also very passionate about sustainability. And that's where, you know, that's where I gained my passion similarly. The thing that I, I found about the world of, of uh, building engineering and uh, sustainability was that, again, in the world of sustainability, it's all always about finding the next new thing and, and figuring out how to do things, do things better, which matched up very well with kind of my personality and wanting to continue to push boundaries and figure new things out. When I chat with some of our most junior engineers that join us out of university is uh, ask them this question, you know, what, when you're at a, a dinner party, let's say, uh, or at a bar and you're meeting somebody for the first time, what do you say when they ask you, you know, what do you do for a living? And most often uh, the answer I get is, that uh, you know, there are cons you know, I, I'm a mechanical engineer, I'm an electrical engineer. The uh, thing that I try and correct them in that moment is that really what we are are consulting engineers. That consulting piece is really important. It that consulting piece depends a lot on other skills other than STEM. Uh, yes, the engineering skills, the STEM skills are really important, but there's to be a good consultant, you need to have a lot of other skills as well.